hello friends let us see one miscellaneous example that is going to ask in various university examination for maybe six or seven marks and the question is let x of k be a 12 point dft with k starting with 0 to 11 is given and they have given first seven samples of x of k starting with 11 8 minus 2 j up to 15 and they are asked to find us uh, the terms like x0 xx and summation with x of n now here the very first step that we should notice is x of k is mentioned as 12 point dft that means we can write number of samples are going to be 12 out of which in the question they have given us only seven samples that means out of 12 sevens are given and remaining five first we have to determine now to determine this remaining five samples we should use a formula that is called as complex or we can use the property complex conjugate property now by this property we can write x of k is equal to x complex of n minus k this is an important property of discrete Fourier transform now here first seven samples are given that means we have to find from 8 9 10 11 and so on so for that case first I'm assuming for k is equal to let this is starting with 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we'll consider k is equals to 7 so if I consider k as 7 we'll get x 7 is equal to this term becomes x complex of number of samples are 12 minus 7 it becomes x complex of 5 that is nothing but complex conjugate of x of 5 so if you see this is x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 x5 is 2 plus j that means its complex conjugate becomes 2 minus j next for k is equals to 8 we'll write x8 as x complex 12 minus 8 is equal to x complex of 4 this is our x4 so this real term as it is and we'll just change the sign of imaginary term so this becomes complex conjugate next for k9 we'll get x9 is equal to x complex 12 minus 9 is nothing but x complex 3 x0 x1 x2 x3 so this is 6 minus 3j next when k is 10 we'll get x10 as you can write directly x2 complex so that is nothing but 1 plus 12j and for the last sample when k is 11 we'll get x11 as x complex of 12 minus 11 is 1 so this is x1 its complex conjugate becomes 8 plus 2j so these are the terms that we have determined starting with x11 x7 to x11 so we got all those sample points so these seven points or the remaining terms we have determined now we'll come across the question now the question is evaluate small x0 and so on that means in the question they have given us dft and we have to find its idft so we'll write the formula formula for idft that is idft of x of k is nothing but x of n which we can write by the formula as 1 upon n now this is summation k 0 to n minus 1 x of k into e raised to plus j 2 pi k n by capital n now to remember the input is x of k the variable is k so summation will with respect to k 0 to n minus 1 now we'll find one by one values so the first value they have asked us is to find x 0 now we'll find x 0 is nothing but by putting small n is equals to 0 in the given equation you can see we have to determine x 0 that means n should be 0 so we'll assume n is equals to 0 in this equation we'll get first value as x 0 is equals to 1 by n number of samples are 12 summation of k starting with 0 to n minus 1 12 minus 1 will be 11 this is x of k into e raised to 0 because here the variable is n so e raised to 0 e raised to 0 is nothing but 1 so simply it becomes 1 by 12 summation 0 to 11 x of k so it is as good as addition of x of k from 0 to 11 so we'll get this value 1 by 12 as it is now in next case 
we'll try to put those values starting with x0 x1 x2 this is x3 plus so on up to x of 11 now we know these all values we'll add all those samples so the values are this is 1 by 12 as it is x0 is 11 x1 is 8 minus 2j x2 is given 1 minus 12j plus 6 plus j3 then we are having minus 3 plus j2 plus 2 plus j plus next is 15 plus remaining, remaining values we have determined that are 2 minus j then it is minus 3 minus 2j plus 6 minus 3j this is 1 plus 12j then it is 8 plus 2j now in this case if you remember uh, if you uh, say all imaginary terms will get cancelled because they are complex conjugates so this is minus 2j and there we are having again this term as this is this is plus 2j this will get cancelled this is 12j minus plus will get cancelled plus j minus j plus j3 minus j3 will get cancelled so it is addition of all real terms only so this is 11 plus 8 plus 1 so it is 20 plus 6 26 minus 3 so this is 23 25 25 plus 15 is 40 plus 2 is 42 minus 3 is 39 39 plus 6 is 45 plus 1 is 46 46 plus 8 is 54 so this is 54 by 12 so if you try to divide it by uh, the given term as 3 so we'll get 3 uh, ones are 1 and 2 that is 18 and this is 4 again if I divide it by 2 we'll get 2 and 9 that means the first sample value x0 becomes 9 by 2 so this is our first IDFT value as 9 by 2 so this is our first value 9 by 2 now we'll come across the second value here they asked to find x6 that means n should be 6 now we'll put value of n is equals to 6 in IDFT's equation we'll get this term as x6 is equals to 1 by 12 now this is summation from 0 to 11 xk as it is e to the power minus j 2 pi k into 6 pi 12 6 into 2 12 divided by 12 will get cancelled and we are left with now 1 upon 12 summation as it is xk into e raised to minus j pi k now to simplify or just if you want to simplify this we have to take summation from 0 to 11 every time the value is going to be changed now we can tackle this condition by simply assuming this value e raised to minus j pi now if you remember e raised to minus j pi is nothing but cos pi minus j sin pi which value is going to be minus 1 so you can write the same equation in terms of power of minus 1 as k 0 to 11 x k e to the power minus j pi is nothing but minus 1 and this power k as it is so now we are left with only putting the values from k 0 to 11 so it will be odd and even terms of 1 so we will expand this first value when I assume k 0 we will get this term as x naught minus 1 raised to 0 will be plus 1 plus x1 into minus 1 raised to 1 will be minus 1 that means we can say that if the sample is even this multiplication becomes plus 1 and if the sample is odd this multiplication becomes minus so by that way now we will write directly plus x2 minus x3 plus x4 minus x5 plus x6 minus x7 plus x8 minus x9 plus x10 minus x11 that means all even terms are added and all odd terms are being subtracted we can say in a way like this we will put those values 1 by 12 as it is first sample value is 11 minus this is 8 minus 2j plus next sample value x2 is 1 minus 12j minus x3 is 6 plus j3 x4 is minus 3 plus j2 x5 is 
which is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so x phi is given 2 plus j then we are having x6 which is plus 15 minus x7 is 2 minus j plus x8 is minus 3 minus 2j this is x8 then we are having x9 which is given by 6 minus 3j then we are having x10 as 1 plus 12j then we are having x11 which is given by 8 minus sorry 8 plus 2j now if you again see this term all imaginary terms are going to be cancelled because here the minus sign if i multiply minus this is or we will simplify this i can write 1 by 12 as it is 11 minus 8 plus 2j plus 1 minus 12j minus 6 minus 3j then this is minus 3 plus 2j minus 2 minus j plus 15 then this is minus 2 plus j then this is minus 3 minus 2j minus 6 plus this is 3j 1 plus 12j minus 8 minus 2j you can see all the imaginary terms this is plus 2j minus 2j will get cancelled here plus 2j and here minus are going to be cancelled so imaginary terms are cancelled now just we have to add the real numbers so the addition that i'm putting in calculators so we'll get 11 minus 8 plus 1 minus 6 minus 3 minus 2 then we are having plus 15 minus 2 minus 3 minus 6 then plus 1 minus 8 we'll get this value we'll check it again 11 minus 8 plus 1 minus 6 this is minus 3 minus 2 so this value is minus 10 divided by 12 so you can write this is minus 5 by 6 this is our x of 6 now we got these two sample values x0 and x6 now we'll come across the third value that we have to determine that is given as summation n0 to 11 into x of n this value we have to find now to find this one uh, if you observe it carefully the summation is given with respect to n and this is x of n it simply indicates that we can use dft formula here so i'm writing dft of dft of x n is we are having that formula this is x of k is equal to summation n 0 to n minus 1 x n into e to the power minus j 2 pi k n divided by capital n this is the formula now in this formula they are asked to find out only this term that is uh, summation and this value now if you want to find only this value this exponential term should be 1 here there is nothing in multiplication that means there should be 1 over here so, uh, so as to make this one the foremost important thing is exponential power should be 0 now it will be possible in two ways either k is 0 or n is 0 now we can't make n as 0 because the range is from 0 to n minus 1 that means we have to assume the second variable k as 0 so you can write if k is 0 in this equation we'll get x naught is equal to summation n 0 to number of samples are 12 minus 1 is 11 x n into e raised to this term is going to be 0 and e to the power 0 becomes 1 therefore this is nothing but summation n 0 to 11 x n's value is nothing but x naught and x naught is given as 11 so this value is 11 so by this we have find all those values so you can expect uh, such kinds of question in the university examinations thank you